Hello everyone, my name is Kalior. I bring to you every week the latest news related to Blood Hunt and everything around it, and I help explain the news in a way to better understand what is going on. For posterity, archival, and for recording purposes, it is currently Saturday, March 12th, 2023. It is currently 11.22 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, it has been 320 days since the release of Blood Hunt. Currently activated in game is the Nemesis Pass, and the current patch is the Combat and Power Update. We are recording this live on Twitch every, uh, usually every Saturday at 11 a.m. <laughs> Eastern Time. Unfortunately, had some health issues yesterday, couldn't do it, so I rescheduled the Sunday. That's why. You gotta follow me on Twitter to know what to know about these kinds of updates, or follow me on the Discord. Um, <laughs> uh, all links are all are, are all everywhere if you want to follow me. Uh, if you're live here in chat right now on uh, on Twitch, feel free to ask questions in the chat. And as a reminder and disclosure, I'm not a game dev. I'm not done by an NDA, but I will do the best to explain the news with some reasonable assumptions. Also, to note. I do not work for Shock Mob or in collaboration with Shock Bob. The topics today, well, it's been a slow week, so there hasn't been like really anything important, but there's some bits and pieces that I've managed to pick up along the way that might interest you. And of course, some might know I have a giveaway to announce later in the show. So why has it been a slow news week? Well, you can assume that the devs are right now are combing through the community feedback from the survey and they're readjusting their plans, lighting their ducks together and preparing a new update for us and maybe some things that they can maybe slip in for us in the meantime. But you can probably think that that's what's going on because uh, the devs have not been very uh, present or vocal in any of the news channel. That's what they usually do whenever they're readjusting their plans. So this is normal, by the way. We have slow news periods between updates. That is absolutely normal, so don't worry about it. So, topics for today. Of course, we're gonna start with Twitch drops. We're gonna talk about some free blood hunt things. Uh, gonna touch on some game updates, but mostly lore-related topics and that you might be able to help and contribute with all of that. Uh, there's gonna be some Blood Hunt related news, and of course, I, just a touch base on a little bit about uh, the tournament and my own giveaway. But first, if you haven't, please give me a follow. If you, even if you're not gonna turn notifications on, it would mean a lot. I stream very casually during the week whenever I feel like it and whenever my job allows me to do it. <laughs> my RL job has been taking a lot of space. I've been mentioning it a lot these days, but really I'm hoping that by the end of the month, everything has been settled and is okay. And I'm gonna be like streaming more frequently other games as well as Blood Hunt. Uh, it's mostly about Blood Hunt. I play other games. So join in, let me know if that's the kind of content that you'd like to see from me. I do giveaways on Blood Hunt and sometimes some special things. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, let's begin. So. Uh, what do we have? Of course, we're starting with Twitch drops, as usual, as is, as is traditional. <laughs> so. There we go, putting the links in chat. So this week, the Twitch drop of the week is the Mark of Solution neck tattoo that is here. Um, a little, uh, a little change from the usual when in terms of in terms of who is available to give this uh, drop. Of course, we see in the in the tweet. There's linked the. Um, uh, the list of all the people who have their channel enabled to give out that drop. Uh, a little, a little switch from the usual thing because we have now a new person uh, that ha that is in charge of the Twitch drops uh, over in the Blood Hunt team. Um, and so this week, it, it, the the streamers, it's the top 100 streamers with the most hours streamed in the last seven days. 
usually it's not seven days usually it's 30 days uh, and then the value of where is it is it the most hours streamed or is it the most hours watched we've been dancing uh, around like which one to choose or is it available to everyone uh, we've been changing a lot of things but this this week has been for the last seven days which was uh, allegedly a mistake that was that was a uh, that was made uh, so next time it, the values or the parameters are going to be uh, switched around to something a little bit more what we're accustomed to because yeah, personally, it is the first time ever since we've had Twitch drops and I've been available to uh, get them is the first time that I haven't been able to give them out on my channel. Um, so, you know, ugh, I feel a little bit weird about this. Um, but at the same time, it's a neck tattoo. It isn't that fantastic. So, you know, anyways, go to other uh, go to other streamers to um, get this uh, get this tattoo. You see the link is there. You can see the um, the list of participating uh, participating channels. And of course, in the blood on category, they'll have usually they'll have drops in the title of their stream. So that's how you uh, find them. And of course, as you can see, like uh, 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 on this screen, you also have the uh, the OG uh, drops that are available for every blood hunt from every blood hunt streamer uh, that has drops enabled. The milk outfit, the Swift Vision eyewear, and the pineapple power outfit. Uh, they're all available until the end of the month. Um, best part best part i appreciate you notifications are turned off but thank you thank you very much for the resub um gonna be talking about you later as usual <laughs> so um and of course as a kind of reminder to everyone we have uh the upcoming uh twitch drops from this series we had the noxious fumes that was last week the tattoo is this week and next week we are going to have the rough the rough patch uh eye patch eyewear which i believe is the second eye patch that we have in that we're going to be able to have in the game uh so yeah be there for that that's going to be next week uh next friday uh as usual i also want to mention that we have um oh sorry that is the wrong link there you go, there you go. Hold on, let me let me cop, do my copy pasting again. There we go. That I have made a, a list of uh, a shareable uh, link of all the Twitch drops that have ever existed uh, with some information. Like I've made this myself uh, out of scratch. So you can see what are the parameters for the week. So like I said here, it's top 100 streamers for most stream hours in the last seven days. And you can see how all the other ones were available. You can see which ones are going to be available in the future. And as well, you've got different tabs to see what are other obtainable cosmetics and what are unobtainable cosmetics uh, that were distributed in the past. I This is a work in progress. I'm trying to keep this updated as much as i as much as possible whenever i can so there you go the link is there if you want to save that keep that uh, keep that on the side it is for the community um and yeah if you feel like i missed anything please let me know uh there's uh, there's already like some suggestions that people have uh, have asked me to to add in the things that have been that have been available and have been unavailable so yeah um was was that a wise face paint oh uh, no the uh this one this one right here uh the face paint here is available in the store currently uh but the um what that is is going to be an, an emote of blow raspberry so probably like yeah, adjusting. I, I bet that a lot of people in the community are going to are going to love using this uh, this emote at different times. Kind of like the mooning, kind of like the butt slap one. Um, yeah. And in terms of free things and giveaways, well, uh, just want to mention, uh, just want to mention that there was the uh, Blood Hunt Extrify keyboards. Uh, giveaway. There were uh, there were some keyboards to give away. 
Uh, the contest, the giveaway is over. It ended on March 8th. Um, and there were 5,857 entries in total. So a lot of people joined into the giveaway. I'm very happy to see that. Um, but the winners have not been announced yet. So we are waiting for the announcements uh, for that. And uh, as another kind of reminder, you should join the Blood Hunt Discord because during the week, Tobias, our good community manager, decided to tweet to post another fuchsia finish and techno demon codes right there on on the Discord. So again, go in the Blood Hunt Discord. Go check it out once in a while. It's usually when he posts this is in the Blood Hunt chat section of uh, the Discord. Um, no, we're not there yet. Check that sheet. Uh, it's coming in the future. I'm, I know that a lot of people like to come to my stream eventually during the time that I'm talking about other things, so I'm leaving the important stuff at the end. Um, you want the Discord link to uh, the Blood Hunt? Uh, okay, hold on. Give me a sec. There, it's, it's easy to find. Whoops, hold on. You go to Blood Hunt. You go here. You got the Discord. Boom. There you go. There is the Discord. There's the Blood Hunt Discord. Um, if you don't already know, we know that there are that um, Tobias, the community manager, has a drawer full of. Um, he said he's got a drawer full of uh, Fuchsia Finish and Techno Demon Mask codes. The only problem that he has is that he can't just like right now he's just giving some away like this, but he's told me that he's looking for community driven events. OK, ideas that some people in the community and streamers um, can put together. And if we submit some good ideas to him, he might, you know, give us give us some codes, make some codes available for us, like for us to distribute uh or you know to to for you to win or something like that we've got best part that is currently in the channel best part is known for organizing tournaments well you know best part is saying hey i'm organizing a tournament so uh he's posting that in advance and then he posts the details some of the details about it and then tobias comes in his dms and goes like hey man what do you need for this? What are you like? Tell me what are you planning exactly? And I'm going to see if I can help you out in some way, if I can give you some promo, if I can give you like maybe some in store in store credits in game credits. Maybe I can give you some codes uh, depending on who exactly is going to win, depending on what kind of tournament it's going to be. Um, like there's other people in the community that have tried to make some events happen and they were given some codes. Uh, so yeah, if you've got an idea, like I usually say this at towards the end of the stream, but if you've got some ideas on what exactly, like on some events, some fun things, some tur or organizing some tournaments for yourself, we need more people organizing tournaments. I feel like we need more people organizing tournaments. If it was just me, I would have a blood, an official blood hunt tournament every two weeks but I don't have the time to organize this. Like right now, I'm, I barely have enough time to organize what I'm doing right now, okay? So uh, yeah, if you've got some time on your hands and you like to help the Bloodhound community, come up with events, come up with tournaments, like go crazy. Uh, don't, don't stop yourself if, if you like this game, if you want to help. Thanks, Kalyar. Now the polls can be posted on Discord. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Waiting, looking forward to this, man. Looking forward to this. We're gonna talk about this later. Uh, we're gonna talk about this part later. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, it's just to let you know, there's plenty of codes to give out. Um, I'm waiting on some ideas that I, I've submitted myself. Some ideas to Tobias. I'm waiting for him to get back to me on exactly what to do with with those. Um, with those ideas coming up in the future. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to give. I muted my hands. What do you mean? OK, I know. Oh, OK, I understand what you mean. OK, <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to talk about um, where in Discord it is. In, in, it's in the Blood Hunt section in Blood Hunt chat. That's where he posts them. 
Um, all right, so let's talk about some game updates. So some of you have noticed, I posted this on my Discord. Um, people have noticed in the uh, kind of gun section of the Elysium, where you've got some presentation things and you've got a lot of guns like in uh, presentation things, um, that uh, a door that used to be there has been replaced by an elevator shaft. Uh, with a bit of like construction signs and some few boxes and some yellow tape that has been ripped off. And here's the description that we see there. If you've recently visited Elysium, you might have noticed that there's some construction work going on. Rumors are that the work order was sent out by Kirill al alongside a big order of guns and practice dummies. What do you think is being worked on? Now, now hold on. If that was a way of being coy about things, it basically immediately let us know that it's going to be a practice room. Maybe it's a way to lead us off, give us a false lead. Maybe it's not going to be a practice a thing with practice. It's not going to be just a practicing range or none of this, you know? I don't think they're trying to be coy. Yeah, I mean, because they've been able to be coy about a few things in the past, so that's why I'm just kind of like, are we just saying that there's going to be a training room, a practice room or something? In that case, it's just like, it's kind of half coy, half not. I don't know, it's kind of the tone has, cho the tone has, has changed here because some people have noticed this door uh, this, not this door, this elevator shaft. Like me, myself, I posted that in my own Discord that, uh, okay, we noticed that the elevator is not, like, cannot go up. Up is one of the places that we run along if we go, like, up here. Like, the places that we can run around in the Elysium, there's no way of going up. But definitely this place, this elevator shaft is going down and we cannot see the bottom of it. Um, some people have been rumoring that maybe it was, uh, maybe it was a new clan that was going to be announced. A clan that maybe had been locked away because of the yellow tape. You know, it's the kind of clan that maybe is all in torpor in a room underneath, underneath the Elysium. And now we're going to go wake them up or something like that. Because some people have been noticing in the recent updates that there's been a lot of Tremere... Um, uh, a lot of Tremere things slash activities that have been, um, that have been seen, um, or discovered when you're using your heightened senses. A lot of symbols have been appearing across the map, but only if you're using your heightened senses. And a lot of people have been linking those to maybe Tremere. The Tremere clan is going to be added in the game. But it turns out that, you know, after posting this, it's just like, okay, maybe it's a firing range targeting practice. So, you know what I was saying that maybe they were working on some things for the next update? Well, maybe they thought about that, that there's going to be a lull between the update that we currently have and when they're going to announce the second thing. And maybe that's going to be the thing that's going to be suddenly opening up in the next couple of weeks or something or maybe it's just to tease us for the next update we don't know exactly what that means basically <laughs> it's what i'm telling you we don't know um so yeah um i i was i'm just gonna say that the the hopes for the new clan still it doesn't it doesn't mean that all the stuff that we've been discovering, that the keen people have been discovering across the map, it doesn't mean that it's not a sign of things to come, okay? There might be a new clan happening in the near future. However, we know that a new clan and archetypes, they take a long time of planning, and we know that they know it also needs a good amount of balancing. Um... Yeah, I'm, personally, I don't think that werewolves are anything that are going to be, like, possible. I think that a lot of lore people have been saying that. And I think even some devs have been saying 
werewolves are probably not going to be a thing that's gonna happen. We have to work on vampire clans before werewolves are ever introduced in this game. The way things are going, like werewolves are kind of like, you know, in the realm of possibility, I think it's like at the bottom. Oh, it's not as much as it's it would make it convoluted because we know that there are werewolves in this in this universe. It's that um, werewolves in this universe work differently. And right now, a lot of people are much more interested in seeing vampire clans and adding more clans. Um, I think that would be that would be the smart way to do things. So talking about like things that we're discovering uh, in, on the map. Remember, people remember people a while ago. I mentioned to you that there was in Elysium in Omnis's section there was a message written on the wall, but no one could really crack it. And there's been some efforts to try to crack it. Hasn't been leading to anything. Well, now we have some news to report about this. And you can have something to do with this. So, Meriden, our Blood Hunt lore guy, Meriden Unknown. Uh, if you're not following, go follow him. For those that are interested, We've had a bit of breakthrough in the Bloodhound Discord lore, thanks to Keynine member uh, Craven, in regards to the mysterious coded message on the wall of Humnus Hovel. A new clue was discovered out in Prague. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to go to the screenshots. It seems very possible, based on this, that the message was coded using an Enigma machine style cipher. As such, there is, or will be in the future, Likely at least two more clues of this nature somewhere in the city that could be the key to cracking the message. Keep a lookout. Now, let's bring the two screenshots together. So this is, if you don't know, you can't probably like see it correctly on this stream, but yes, this is one of the in one of the alcoves uh, that are behind Obnus in uh, in Elysium you have this whole message here and at the bottom here you have the letters you can't really see it on the screenshots but the uh, the letters E W with a circle around it and this is framed inside of a kind of square here is the other picture what's been discovered in Prague corners of a square and the letters in the corner, EW, the same exact thing. You've got EW and you've got some signs here that have been, that mean different things. And the guys have been basically um, figuring out that, yes, this might be an Enigma machine. And there are probably, they would, you would need to be able to crack it. You need two more other pieces of code to be able to decode the whole thing. So... If ever you are in Prague and you have a chance or you want to dedicate yourself to this, we need to go through every wall in the city <laughs> to try to find something like this. And the key is that you're going to probably have those little corners, those little corners that you're going to see there and the letters EW. If ever you come across, if ever you come across this in the game, please take a screenshot and share with people and make sure also that if you're gonna like crop your picture make sure you've got this you've got the mini map there so we can know exactly where you found this okay so yeah so it's possible that it's in the game right now or it's possible that it's not in the game and they're planning this for future updates that they're gonna add some more graffiti codes like this in the game so anyways, I'm super excited. Just before starting this, I went to uh, the slaughterhouse section and was trying to look at every co every wall that was in the slaughterhouse section. Man, this is difficult to do <laughs> because you got the red gas coming in. You got all the people chasing you. Oh, this is an endeavor. So I suggest to anyone, put yourself out a map of... Prague and try to mark out every map that you've every section that you've gone through also you know it's not just like 2d looking at the map you've got different levels uh where we've got some secrets hidden on in the map so yeah 
Stop shooting at me. I'm looking for the invisible messages on the walls. Yes. Yes, because this one is visible. It's not using the heightened senses. So it could be that other sections are also found in with heightened senses. So yeah, it's not just going through all the walls first. You have to do go through all the walls the second time with using heightened senses. So yeah, we've got a bit of a a bit of a task on our hands right now. Um, hold on a second. All right, another thing. We had mentioned with the latest update that some lore entries in the journal could be unlocked. Well, I found Meriden again. It's gonna be very Meriden centric this episode <laughs> today. Um, he's posted this in the um, in the Bloodhood section of the World of Darkness Discord. Um, yes, because World of Darkness has uh, has a Discord and they have a section for Blood Hunt. And he's posted this. Okay, there's a few things, but here's the part that interests me. Or that interests us. I just want to make sure that it's not covered on the screen. Okay. Uh, I've had time to double test the journal fixes. All location entries in the domain section are now 100% completable. For the key location entries, the demolition entry is now completable. However, Divine Disco is still stuck at two thirds, and there might still be issues with uh, for some with Art Gallery being stuck at two thirds. Everything else should continue to work as intended. So if you are an OCD person like me and you need everything to be unlocked, there you go. You've got some you've got some keys there so to to let you know what what to work on. But here's the next part that interests me. To the best of my knowledge, this means that the only journal entries still bugged are Divine Disco, maybe Art Gallery, and the Seneschal entry under the lore section, which from what I understand was added by mistake and doesn't actually have entries available for it yet. Barring something new that cropped up for newer players, everything else should have been completable. I was wondering about that. I haven't said anything personally about this, but yeah, there's a section in the lore where you see Prince sheriff and all of those you saw like these are basically titles for some people inside the Camarilla uh, organization um, and yeah some at some point in the past the Seneschal entry was was there and we can un unlock anything that's I didn't want to say anything because I was thinking Maybe it's one of the characters that's going to be like named Seneschal at some point because they're all Primogen. All the characters that are in there are Primogen. Custos is the um Oh god, I keep forgetting his title. Um anyways, he's the one that keeps the peace. He's the No, he's not the Herald. Hello, Cherry Cheese. Um Custos is basically the custodian. Of the Elysium. A keeper! Yes, thank you. He's the keeper of the Elysium. Um, Kirill, on top of being Primogen, is also Sheriff. You've got uh, M, who is the Prince. But now it's saying that there's Seneschal. Uh oh, sorry, and I forgot uh, Maya is the Harpy. Um, so now having Seneschal means that either one of them is going to get the title or we're getting a new clan in the game and one of them is going to be the long lost Seneschal or something like that. And I was hoping for that, but there was no other hints like that were supporting this. So that I didn't I didn't say anything. So, yeah, learning that from because Meriden, I don't know if you know that Meriden is in touch with the um, is very in touch with the lore team. Uh, so that's why he knows a lot about the quests and the quest status and the journal entries, like which ones are confirmed bugged or not. And that's why he keeps reporting to them and they go look into see like, are there any issues and all that sort of stuff. So when he says if he understands that the Seneschal entry was added by mistake, you can trust him. Okay. in what he's saying, 
of course, it's like, you know, from what he understands, he's not confirming anything. But usually whenever Meriden says something like official kind of like this, can't trust kind of what he what he's about to say. So, yes, to it was it was a theory of mine that I had in my head. The Seneschal entry doesn't necessarily mean that there's a new clan, and that was a mistake. So we're not gonna see if you're trying to unlock talk to the people to try to try talk to the NPCs to see to get some entries in uh, Seneschal unlocked. That's not gonna happen because there's nothing in there. So there you go. Um, so another thing, again, focusing on <laughs> Meriden, and I would like to see some people participate in this. If ever you're a person that is, that is interested in the lore, uh, he's asked that in the in the um, like I said in the Blood Hunt section of the World of Darkness Discord. Um, he's also asked this in the lore section of the Blood Hunt Discord, and he's posted this on, on Discord. So, question for any Blood Hunt lore fans out there: What is the thing you want the most? You want to know most about Blood Hunt story? Whether it be uh, something about a character's history or a burning question about the current slash future plot, what is the thing that you want an answer to? Now, probably, I'm speculating here, um, there could be two reasons why he's asking this. One could be because he wants to make some lore videos because now he's got a new PC and now he can make videos so maybe he's looking for like he's gauging people like what kind of information would you like to know about the about the game or maybe can like maybe start answering questions or uh, guiding people to what might be the answers the second question is like the second the second possibility is that like I said he's in touch with the lore team and after the recent announcement of, you know, they're not going to add any more quests to the game in the near future um, because of reasons X, Y, Z, um, they did say that they were looking into different other ways of furthering plots or um, like bringing the story forward using other means other than in game, because right now, as far as the in-game stuff is concerned, they want the devs to focus on other things than anything related to quests because, you know, bringing more quests needs more testing. Uh, there are several, there, there apparently are still several lingering bugs uh, regarding quests, uh, regarding unlocks and all of that sort of stuff. And they don't want the devs to focus on that part of the game. They'd rather focus on other parts, probably, you know, well, any other things. There's a lot of suggestions from the community of what people would like to see uh, in the game. And lore-wise, it's probably not the most important, effective thing. However, we know that they have a lot of lore that is already written, that's already, you know, ready to go. Maybe they can repurpose it. Maybe they can repackage it, uh, as Meriden was mentioning. If you go look on the Blood Hunt uh, on the Bloodhound website, there is a lore section where they, there are some pieces of lore that have been posted there uh, before the game was released. Uh, and that could be another way that someone on the side, not necessarily related to the Bloodhound, the core vampire crew, um, could be writing something up and it could be posted there. So all the, the people that are interested in the lore or people are interested in things that might not be added inside the game or might be answering some some lingering questions, like he said. Maybe that all that sort of stuff, you can get a writer working on it for a few hours and then that can officially, you know, with all the bits and pieces that they've already written, and maybe they can start posting some things there. So at least the this all, because like there's some people that are very interested in the lore because this is all canon. This is all official lore that is in this game. That is a part of the greater Vampire the Masquerade um, or World of Darkness uh, like lore. So that's why he's asking. That's why he's asking that question, and I would like to see more people uh, answer uh, answer him. I know that in the Blood Hunt, uh, in the Blood Hunt, uh, no, sorry, in the World of Darkness Discord, I answered him that personally. I am very interested to know um, what is the secret 
the secret about Omnis's identity. And there was a uh, mention that apparently the prince, the former prince, was holding a secret over Omnis's head. So I'm very interested to know a little bit more a little bit more about this, a little bit more about Omnis, because he seems to be like a very complex and interesting character, a very interesting take on an Osferatu. Um, so I want to know more about that. But maybe there's other things that may that maybe interest you. Maybe you want to know about there's some you think that Maya has like some really, really fishy stuff that's happening. Uh, or maybe you want to know more about the consequences of M, our current prince. Because we all know that she's forged some documents to be in the position that, of power that she is right now. What kind of consequences will happen or could be happening uh, about that? Um, there's been mentions of other clans, of other um, other factions other than the Camarilla um, that have been operating and that we've seen traces of them in the quest that we've been doing. Maybe you want to know more about that. The Sabbat apparently have been in town. Maybe there's hints of a La Sombra? Um, who knows? Maybe that's the kind of stuff that you'd like to ask, that you'd like to know more. There you go. You've got a tweet there. Go answer it. Um, moving on to any stuff that is related to Blood Hunt that was announced this week. There is a senior... Um, senior character artist at Shark Mob called Edvard Svensson. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, that has been posting, uh, sharing some of the work he's done for Blood Hunt. And this one, it is the Radiance outfit. This one. Now, if you don't already know uh, about this, uh, about Art Station, okay? First of all, you should know Art Station is a place where a lot of artists are posting their artwork. Um, concept art, finalized art, a lot of things, a lot, a lot of different versions of what they've been working on. Um, and so, like, what you're seeing right now is not necessarily how it appears in-game. It This is probably how it appears in the Maya software. Uh, but yeah, whenever, like, at some points, maybe, like, at some point in the future, they are cleared by, um... Uh... They're cleared by legal, I think. Some part, and some, it depends on the studio. Sometimes the, uh, the the legal department gives them the okay to be able to share or post what like their work on uh, ArtStation. You will find a lot of uh, if you do some work, some some searches on ArtStation. There's a few people that have worked on Shark Mob. Uh, uh, sorry, on Blood Hunt that are not necessarily associated with Shark Mob, uh, but they've been posting like their concept art or other stuff. So there you go. You see the detailed work. Look at this with the lighting, the detailed work that has been put into getting this outfit together. Um, so these are some very close up shots, but here you go. You see it in kind of grayscale here with like at least the the skin of the character poking through beneath and you've got the grayscale of the of the work. And there you go in brown scale or I don't know exactly how some people have been uh, seeing this. But yeah, this is this is the basic detailed work that is all behind of this um, that is included in the um, that needs to be included in the game before you slap on some uh, some colors and stuff uh, on top of it. Now, I want to mention that here on the side, it gives a little bit more a little bit more detail on exactly what he's been saying. It's like I was responsible for creating the whole outfit from scratch to final in-game model. Out outfit design was concepted by someone, hair fully made by someone else, a head scan was provided by a scan engine and, scu and sculpted. If you don't know, the heads were scans of real people, and then they do some extra work on it to sculpt it so they can, like, it can work in game. And the head low poly by, uh, by, uh, I guess it's a, I guess it's a, a, a program or something or um, I don't know exactly. I don't know what, what Red Hot CG means or if it's a, 
a studio or something and then finalized by him and he look look the interesting thing also you can they can tag the software that's been used in all of this so unreal engine marvelous designer marvel set tool bag substance 3d painter maya and zbrush these are all different versions of 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 you know using these softwares how everything looks and yeah there's another thing that he's posted it is the venetian style mask for blood hunt and we're just gonna go here on his profile and go open it up here as well so yeah this is and here's the interesting thing he calls it poltergeist that was the uh that was the that's fun to know it's kind of like behind the scenes that was the working title for this we've called it something different in game but yeah this is what this is what we got this was a, and he says this was a mess i was fortunate to be tasked to fully create from scratch it was super fun and challenging creating it so here we go here we got look at the detail on it this is the finalized version of course but this is not like i said this is the finalized version probably in maya with everything put together the way that it looks in the game engine for blood hunt is going to be a totally different thing so there you go without the like just the just the um just the details themselves not the fully painted thing and look you can even see you can even see the 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 the, the grain that has worked on the uh on the mask itself this is this is wonderful this is wonderful to see i absolutely love this so god designer yeah favorite mask in the game so detailed and yes this is kind of this is the kind of stuff that makes you really appreciate uh the artist's work and also makes you appreciate that yeah there's a lot of work that's being put into all of these and um yeah it is absolutely not hey guys just give us cosmetics and cosmetics fall from the sky and they just land there in our you know you know in our laps for us to be able to to get that is absolutely not something that is you know easy by any means necessary to get in there so and yeah and like like you probably know like the team right now the core vampire crew is a very reduced team now so i don't know exactly how long it takes to like that's the only thing that is that is missing is how long did it take to get this mask all designed and into the game like the cod from the concept to the sculpting to the painting to actually transferring in in the game for us to be able to use that is a several that that is a significant amount of time even though it's their job it still requires a lot of work to be able to make to get this happening so uh makes you appreciate uh, why maybe we're not getting battle passes left and right uh, to the people that have been, you know, basically requesting a battle pass for like uh, at every month. It's sometimes it's not possible. I'm trying to make excuses. Yeah, a little bit. But at the same time, it makes you appreciate. Um, another thing that is related to Blood Hunt is that PlayStation 5 now supports Discord voice chat. Now, I know that for PC players, this is necessarily a big thing for PS5 players. Oh yeah, this is big. This is big because what technically <laughs> PlayStation players like a lot of a lot of a lot of gaming in PC or a lot of gaming these days is going through Discord. A lot of Discord voice chat, a lot of Discord interaction and a lot of that stuff. But PlayStation players that don't have, that don't have a PC used to go with their phone. Have their phone nearby or have some kind of weird contraption where they can like have their their headset connected through a different thing or through a tablet or a, like laptop PC on the side to have some discord now now it's actually it is actually connected and you're gonna have it through uh, through the PlayStation so you're gonna have 
a little bit less of that all that ambient noise from PlayStation players where you can hear everyone in their neighborhood doing things and also try to hear them talk inside the mic and also have some kind of music happening in the background maybe it's gonna maybe it's gonna make some streams a little bit more better maybe it's gonna make communications a little bit more better now that they are going to be able to join in discord with the playstation 5 this is big news this is big news for them and uh yeah i hope i'm i hope that i'm gonna be able to hear some um some more cleaner cleaner audio on streams in the future <laughs> so yeah ah oh, and now hey there you go that's the man that's the man right here that's the man right here best part talking about tournaments so he put a he put a a, a, a um a survey recently asking you know if there was a tournament to be made what kind of format would you like it it was solos duos and trios and solos won by 44 percent People that want trios tournaments, um, I just want to say, like, if you want more trios tournaments to happen, okay, um, just get them happening, or or at least at least follow follow best part. So whenever he's organizing a tournament. If you want trios to happen, you're gonna you're gonna have to vote. Yeah, I I know best part. I I understand. I understand what you read. I understand what you read. But you know. Um, so yeah, what he's saying here. Okay, solos with forty four percent. Is uh is it the only mode that the community that in which the community wants to see blood hunt next blood hunt tournament? Let's see which day people would prefer to hold this tournament. They're usually had on sa on Saturdays and Sunday, but let's see what you think. Voted. I think everyone is clear that every I think it's clear that everyone wants, wants the tournament to be on the weekend. But still, do you want the next tournament to be a solos tournament? Or do you want it to be a trios tournament? Let let in this case, we can get less bots or custom lobby. I don't know, best part. We know that recently there has been a request for a custom lobby and it did happen. Maybe the tourneys are see cheddar cheese. They haven't been always trios. They haven't been always trios. There's been some duos, there's been some solos, there's been some trios. In recent memory, like in the recent tournaments, less, of course there've been trios. Yeah. But back when the EGL was organizing a lot of tournaments for us, uh, yeah, there were solos tournaments that were happening. And they're a bit chaotic. Uh, they're a bit... Uh, <laughs> um... You did three tournaments on solos months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. You also did that. Uh, so yeah, I, I keep saying, people, like, encourage and help. Best part, try to get some tournaments happening because, like I said, we need more tournaments. Um, yeah, I know solos feel weird, but again, there's there's some people like you know with the way that solos work, with only stats. Okay, it's only through stats that you can get like you know the best games and all of that. Um, some people might not feel okay with like doing trios some people might do okay with just like i'm just gonna do my solo i'm on my solo jam i'm gonna do my solos all the time there you go solos tournament where i'm gonna participate in i don't know maybe you're gonna get more participation than you would have for tree than uh, than for trios tournament i still maintain and i still say i still agree with people that trios is still the most entertaining and the the best blood hunt experience that you can get out there okay blood hunt at his like finest form is still trios but that doesn't mean that solos and duos people that like solos and duos don't get to have their own their own tournaments either okay but we know that Trios tournaments are usually the ones that get the most views, the most entertainment, that get the most buzz happening. 
So we need a healthy dose of all of those things. But again, people, if you want trios, if, if you want, no, if you want tournaments to happen, make your own tournaments, get some tournaments happening. Okay. And if you can't help best part, best part is there trying to organize some. I don't, I haven't seen a lot of people. Look at this. He's put a, he's put a, like this, this poll. There are only nine people that voted only nine people. That's not enough. That's why I've been asking him, like, can you post this on the Blood Hunt Discord? And then he had to ask if it was okay for him to post some some polls to get some tournaments happening. Because, you know, you can't have, like, nine people decide on the fate of the next tournament. That's crazy. Like, some people, like, as usual, some people, whenever there's a tournament that that is happening or that is um, being announced and the rules are being posted, there's a bunch of people that complain, like, oh, no, the rules should be this, it should be that format. Like, this guy has been posting. What do you want the next tournament to be? And no one answers. So people, like, retweet Best Part, follow Best Part. Yes, exactly. No one says anything when you ask for help. I'm doing the best that I can, you know, to retweet you. And no, no, Check Banshee is because we're not. It's not that people don't care about tournaments. Is that usually it's the info about the tournaments that doesn't get m marketed correctly. There's not a lot of people that are just saying like, hey, we're, we're trying to organize a tournament. Let's get some help. Let's get some stuff happening. Uh, a lot of people, whenever there's a tournament, it, traditionally, there's a lot of people that sign up for the tournament in the last 24 hours. So you're going to see like maybe one team, two team, three teams over the last, like, you know, it's announced like it's going to happen in a week or two weeks. And there's like one team once in a while. And then in the last 24 hours is just like skyrocketing the amount of teams that sign up. People sign up at the last second. It's unfortunately the kind of thing that happens but i guess that some people want just like the format to be announced to be posted and then they're gonna see like yeah am i joining up or not so yeah if you want to help best part there you go he's here go follow his um uh go follow his stream go follow his oops sorry that a second hold on um uh, sh uh, let me write this normally. There you go. Uh, when it's 30 minutes left to start, people want to join. Okay, well, you're going to have to make some rule about that, dude. There you go. Follow Best Part. That's his channel. You can go talk to him. Uh, you can follow him on his Twitter there. You've got, like, you've got the link to his tweet. Like, I've been posting it before. Um, actually, let me link it here again. Let me, let me link it here again. There you go. That's his Twitter. Whenever he's announcing something for a tournament, retweet, make some noise, post it about somewhere. Now that he, he can like post on on the Blood Hunt Discord, his, his, his like we're gonna have to make some noise about it, okay? And yeah, if you want to make organize your own tournament and all that sort of stuff, like I said, try to figure it out yourself. Ask for some help. There might be some people in the community that might help you. There might be Tobias that might uh, join in to help you. I know that he's got like his hands full right now, but yeah, let's try, you know, we need the community to get happening to get together and support each other. But that's for another rant for another day. Let's finish off with the news here. So, the last thing I need to have a moment here because I've got everything prepared. <sighs> all right. All right. I hope this goes through because I'm doing this live. Yes, has been posted. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Let me post it right here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make this live. I want to make sure this is this isn't all in the correct channels. Uh, give me a second. Because uh, I want to do this live so everyone has the correct info at all places. 
and I want to edit this and the rules are here. All right. Uh, and though the polls switch on Bloodhound Discord, I have to ask the Discord admin where they want the polls to post the polls. Good, good. Okay, we can get some stuff organized. That's great. That's great. So, people, the thing that you've been waiting for is now arrived. I have just posted this. Blood Hunt Demons! Blood Hunt Demons, the Blood Hunt Demons competition that I'm gonna be doing. So, I'm gonna read everything that's posted here. I've just posted all this series of tweets. So, there you go. Two Blood Hunt Techno Demon Masks giveaways. The deadline to enter is March 19th at 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Here are the two main rules. You have to play 25 full matches of Blood Hunt. No restriction on the game modes. Second rule, you have to post your Tracker GG and your Twitch profile links in the Techno Demon giveaway channel here. This link here is my Discord, basically. It is it is the Caliores Laboratory Discord. There is a section here in the chatty channels there's a section here is the techno demon giveaway you've got all the rules here I, po I posted a pin of all the rules here i've got the link to my twitter and an example of what you have to post here you post your tracker gg link and you post your twitch link that's what it's the only thing that you post here um i will not be reading like any other any other thing that you post inside that channel that's going to be deleted so there you go. Here's the details. If you follow, it's a whole thread with all the details here. So, prove your Blood Hunt Demon by simply playing Blood Hunt. Free to play on Steam and PS5. If requirements are met, your name is in the giveaway. I will contact the winners through uh, Twitch DM and will announce them here and on Discord. Basically, yeah. Play 25 full matches, post your links so I can verify, okay? I can verify that you played 25 full matches starting from now up until March 19, 10 p.m., okay? And now is, yeah, so it's going to say noon. I just make a mark for myself that it's noon on the 12th. There you go. So... Other rules, other rules, well, way to get disqualified. The join and quit matches will not count. There's legit reasons why some people would do that on some matches. I totally understand. I've done that myself once in a while, but you have the time until, until the 19th. Okay. Until the 19th, you have the time to play 25 full matches. Okay. If you didn't hear about the giveaway in time, if you're reading this tweet in the future, in the middle of the week or something like that, well, that sucks. Follow my weekly news recaps where I announce this live for everyone. Second disqualification. If you're coming at with if you're coming at me with excuses of oh the tracker didn't count my match, because some people have done that in the past. Listen tracker.gg it's good enough by now okay it works get some matches in if you if some match didn't count do some more matches until you get 25 full matches it's good you know or contact tracker support to get your issues fixed because i will not be dealing with any of the bs related to that or of like oh my match didn't count it's like okay let's get 25 matches in you have up until the 19th this should be fairly easy and simple. Why 25 matches? It felt like a good number to make sure that it didn't feel like a chore on one hand. And on the other hand, like make sure that everyone can enter, even if you suddenly have a very busy week and you don't have a lot of time for games. But it's still enough so you can kind of like, you know, do the work, you know? 20 I know cheddar cheese. I know so like the super dedicated people like you and I, 
we're able to do drop 25 matches in a day that's not a problem i'm just making sure that everyone has a chance to drop 25 matches you know and like i say here maybe next time i do a giveaway depending on the feedback on not just the people that you know that are in it and saying like like you like hey 25 matches that's easy getting done and getting that done in a few hours or there's the people that might tell me like hey maybe there's gonna be a lot of people that say like hey maybe like extend that for two weeks i don't have enough time to do 25 matches i'm gonna see like what's like what's gonna be the feedback for that also i have to parse through the data to make sure that all your matches are legit you know and they're not just like you know started a match purposely got killed hey rank 40 out of 42 uh there you go here's all my 25 matches i've done within a day and they're all like you know anyways there's some ways to fix some things i gotta make sure that you gotta be doing like legit matches for you to count and on top of that yeah it depends on the number of entries like i am going to uh like it ends on march 19th right but i'm not gonna announce on march 19th i have to go through everyone's data to make sure that everyone's okay and then once i've gone through that then i'm gonna be like doing the draw the draw of the giveaways for the two people that is still a good amount of work uh and that's stuff that i gotta do on my own time maybe i'm gonna recruit a couple of people to help me with this depending on how many entries i got okay because as we've just established with best part with his tournament info and i've been like saying about like any time that i've been doing a techno demon giveaway sometimes there's a bunch of people that discover two or three weeks after the fact <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, check that you haven't uh, played much at all. I really need something to grind to have fun waiting for a new battle pass. But I think this might be to do 25. Maybe there you go. That is exactly see, see check Benchy. That is exactly why I did it like that. That's why I, that's why I did it like that. It's because I was waiting also for a moment where there's a week where it feels like maybe we're not going to get anything for for the game. Like we're not we don't have an activity planned. We don't have a tournament happening so let me be let me do let me do some activity for people okay let me like there you go that's the that's that's the 25 matches maybe if i get some other codes in the future maybe 25 matches ain't gonna be enough maybe it's gonna be i don't know maybe it's gonna be 40 matches let's increase the difficulty let's increase the engagement we're gonna see okay we're gonna see it depends like I'm going to be taking in all the feedback and see what's going to be happening in the future. Like I said, I've got a few other plans in my back pocket. And I'm going to see if um, I can submit more ideas to Tobias so he can give me some more codes to give out to uh, to give out to everyone here. So there you go. All the info's out there. If if you could, everyone. I gave you the link to this, okay? And you know you know my Twitter. You should know my Twitter by now, but there you go. Here's the tweet. Retweet this, please. Please give it the retweets. Like, I appreciate the likes, but as far as I'm concerned, when it's info that the community can gain from, can, you know, we can get, a, you want to get as many eyes on the information as possible. I would really much appreciate some retweets if you could link this in some discords and all of that stuff like that goes like not just for this giveaway but for any of the stuff you know I'm coming at you with the news every week I really appreciate the retweets that being said there you go have fun show me show me you were a true blood hunt demon show me that you're doing some things earn earn the earn the the, the, the mask I don't know maybe i'm gonna do the exact same thing maybe later let's see if some people are maybe if that gets some people excited at doing this this kind of event this kind of thing maybe i gotta put in maybe those two rules aren't aren't enough i need to put some other twist on it we're gonna see anyways that's enough that covers the uh blood hunt news for the week now as usual we look into what can we expect now? Well, right now we are waiting for a, a learnings article. If 
I am looking through what things have been happening in the past. We may be waiting a few, another few weeks to uh, get that learnings article and discover what's going to be happening in the next update. Like I said at the beginning of the show, the devs have been very silent this week. They're probably all working on what exactly they're going to present us in the near future. Next Friday, we get the new drop. <clears throat> Sorry. Next Friday, we get a new drop, as usual. And we are patiently waiting to discover what's going to be happening with that elevator in the Elysium. Is it something that is just there to tease us? Or is it something that's going to unlock this week or maybe next week we don't know but yeah keep a lookout if ever you're looking at the walls and you see some codes out there so we can help with decrypting the message um but yeah that's 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 it that's what we're looking for so that's why i've got i've got the demon hask the demon the demon uh oh, the techno demon uh giveaway that's going on right now so i hope that you're gonna have a lots of fun and you're gonna have some more games in um yeah as a, as a reminder i'm gonna do my usual reminders more there's more and more people that are discovering blood hunt remember that what you do and what you say can either welcome new players or push them away so be aware of what of how you're talking about the game and how you're talking about the community and as a reminder to everyone, I, if you do pick up on some details that you might think are, or could be interesting or newsworthy for me to report, don't hesitate to contact me. Let me know. Give me screenshots of convos or give me links of the VODs. I can't be everywhere on every stream. There's only 24 hours in a day. If you want to help out, I appreciate it a lot. My DMs are always open. Please give me a follow on Twitch. The channel is growing. We are on the verge of reaching what is it 400 followers we are just on the verge of getting this um yeah i appreciate everyone that joins in um and remember that i i stream blood hunt whenever i stream blood hunt i make sure normally not this week but normally i make sure that i always manage to have the special drops on my channel and i do some code giveaways like i'm gonna be doing uh, after this recording, people on Twitch stick around. I'm going to be doing a purple pain code, give code giveaway. And yeah, follow me on my Twitter. Join in the Discord. Yeah, join in on my di on, on my Discord. I'm going to be talking. Uh, I'm going to be sharing some ideas for the Blood Hunt talk show that I'm currently throwing some ideas right now. It's something that might be happening. Uh, I would like to say maybe next month, but. I'm starting to realize as I'm doing a, a list of all the things that I want to see in that show, maybe that's going to take longer. Depends. We're going to see. We're going to see. So that's it for us here. Uh, be kind to each other and be kind to yourself. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week.